थर्ड एक्सरसाइज ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ लाइन्स एंड एंगल सो हियर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन द गिवन फिगर साइज ओ क्यू पी एंड आर क्यू ऑफ ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर प्रोड्यूस टू पॉइंट एस एंड टी रेस्पेक्टिवली ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी इन द फिगर हियर क्यू पी इज प्रोड्यूस टू एस एंड आर क्यू इज प्रोड्यूस टू टी ओके सो हियर इन दिस डायग्राम If SPR, okay, they have given this angle. SPR is one thirty-five degree, and PQT, PQT is one ten degree. Yes, we need to find out PRQ, that is this angle. Okay, so here let us find out the angle. Here SPR is given and PQ, PQT is given. Yes, we need to find out PR. supplementary okay these two are supplementary here i call this as x okay and these two are supplementary i call this as y yes we will find out this one okay so now here in this case so i take x plus spr is equals to 180 degree because these are linear pair the sum is equals to 180 degree Yes, x we don't know. SPR is how much? One thirty-five equals to one eighty degree. Okay, so x is equals to one eighty minus one thirty-five is equals to how much? Forty-five degree. Okay, then here we have x is equals to forty-five degree. So secondly, we will find out y here. Okay, so sum of these two is also one eighty linear pair. Okay, that is PQT. Plus y equals to one eighty degree, so linear pair. So then here PQT here PQT is given. Yes, this is one ten degree. Plus y equals to one eighty. So y equals to one eighty minus one ten degree. This is plus becomes minus. This is equals to seventy degree. Okay, y is seventy. Yes, we can easily calculate the z here. Okay, so call this z. Okay. In triangle PQR, angle X plus I plus Z. Okay, so these are equals to one eighty degree. The sum of interior angles of triangle X is how much? Forty five degree. Y is seventy degree. Yes, we can easily find out Z. Z is P Q P R Q. So one eighty degree. Okay, so P R Q write them as it is equals to one eighty. Here forty five plus seventy degree. This is one hundred and fifteen. This plus one hundred and fifteen becomes here minus one hundred and fifteen. So here P R Q is equals to one eighty minus one fifteen is sixty five degree. Okay, this is what the angle. Second question is in the given figure. Yes, the angle X they have given sixty two two degree. And x y z the angle x y z this is fifty four degree. If y o and z o are bisectors of x y z, okay, these are the bisectors. It means the angles. So here these two angles and these two angles are equal bisectors, okay. And x z y respectively in triangle x y z here find o z y that is o Z Y only this angle, okay. Then Y O Z Y O Z and this angle. Yes, we need to find out this angle and this angle, okay. Let us find out these angles here. Yes, here second question. In this, this is sixty two and this is fifty two, fifty four degree. Yes, they have given Y O is bisector of X Y Z, okay, and OZ is bisector of XZY. Bisector means this divides angle in equal length, equal measures. Okay. So here first we will find out. Yes, we have XY. We will find out Z angle. Okay. In triangle XYZ, angle X plus angle Y plus angle Z in this bigger triangle. Okay. This is sum of interior angle is one eighty. So angle.
एंगल एक्स इज सिक्सटी टू एंगल वाई इज फिफ्टी फोर प्लस वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट जेड इक्व टू वन एटी डिग्री ओके सिक्सटी टू प्लस फिफ्टी फोर द सम ऑफ दिस इज वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन डिग्री प्लस जेड इक्व टू वन एटी डिग्री सो एंगल जेड इज इक्व टू वन एटी माइनस वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन डिग्री सो दिस इज इक्व टू सिक्सटी फोर डिग्री ओके सो हियर वी कैन राइट डाउन दी दीज दे आर बाई सेक्टर एंगुलर बाई सेक्टर ओके सो दीज टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल हियर ओके आई कॉल दिस एज दिस इज एंगल एक्स दिस इज एंगल एक्स दिस इज वाई दिस इज वाई ओके सो हियर एक्स इज दिस इज एक्स दिस इज एक्स टोटल टू एक्स हियर टू एक्स इज हाउ मच फिफ्टी फोर डिग्री एक्स इज फिफ्टी फोर डिवाइडेड बाई टू ओके ईच एंगल इज इक्व टू 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 चा फोर टू सेवन जा दैट इज एक्स इज ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री ओके यू कैन कॉल एक्स आर आई कॉल दिस एज वन एंगल ओके एंगल ए ए बिकॉज वी हैव टेकन एक्स एयर दिस इज ए ओके एंगल ए दिस इज आई कॉल एंगल बी एंड एंगल बी 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 ओके बी प्लस बी इज टू बी टू बी इक्व टू जेड द एंगल जेड हाउ मच सिक्सटी फोर डिग्री ओके सो बी इज इक्व टू सिक्सटी फोर दिस टू बिकम दिवार बाई टू दिस इज थर्टी टू डिग्री ओके This is twenty seven plus twenty seven fifty four degree. This is thirty two thirty two sixty four degree. Okay, here we have all angles. So in next go to triangles inside triangles. That is O Y Z in triangle O Y Z angle O. Okay, this I call Y O Z plus angle. This angle is A plus this angle is B. This is one eighty degree. ओके वाई वो जेड वी डोंट नो वैल्यू द एंगल ए इज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री एंगल बी इज थर्टी टू डिग्री इक्व टू वन एटी डिग्री ओके हियर वाई वो जेड इज इक्व टू वन एटी ओके द सम ऑफ दिस टू इज फिफ्टी नाइन डिग्री ओके द माइनस ऑन सब स्ट्रैक्ट इन दिस वन वी विल गेट वन ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री दिस इज द वाई वो जेड Third question is in the given figure AB is parallel to DA. That is, they have given this AB is parallel to DA. Angle BAC is thirty five degree. Okay, this angle they have given thirty five degree, and angle CD is fifty three degree. Yes, we need to find out angle DC. That is this angle. Okay, okay, we'll find out this angle now. AB is parallel to DE. Okay, here BAC thirty five and this is thirty fifty three. We need to find out this angle. Okay, so here in this question, these two are parallel means alternate angles are equal. Okay, these two are alternate angles. Okay, so here I write down BAC is equals to CED. These are equal. Thirty five degree because alternate angles. Okay, then we can easily find out this is thirty five now. We can easily find out this this in triangle DCE. Okay, the sum of interior angles of triangle is one eighty. That is D plus angle E plus angle C C. Okay, equals to one eighty. So angle D is how much? Fifty three. Angle E is how much? Thirty-five degree. Okay, this is thirty-five. We got this one. I just write down this is DCE. Angle DCE equals to one eighty. Okay, so DCE is equals to one eighty minus fifty-three plus thirty-five. This is eighty-eight plus eighty-eight becomes here minus eighty-eight degree. This is ninety-two degree. Okay, the angle DCE is equals to ninety-two degree. Here fourth question is in the given figure if lines PQ and RS intersect at T okay the line here PQ and RS these are intersect at T such that PRT is forty degree okay so PRT this one this is forty degree and angle RPT is ninety five degree okay then angle TSQ is seventy five degree Find SQT, SQT. Okay, 
that is s q t okay we need to find out this angle okay we will find out this angle now here this is 95 45 degree 75 degree okay here we need to find out s q t this angle okay so here first so here we can easily find out this one see in this triangle we will find out third angle okay so in triangle p r t I call this as X. Okay. So in triangle PRT. Angle P. Plus angle R. Plus angle X. Okay. Equals to 180 degree. Angle P is 95 degree. Plus angle R is 40 degree. Plus X equals to 180 degree. Okay. So here X write down as it is. This is 180 minus. This is equals to 95 plus 40 is 135 equals to 45 degree. Okay, here this is 45 means this is also 45 because these are vertical opposite angles. Okay, so here x equals to STQ. This angle is equals to 45 degree because these are vertical opposite angles. Okay, so now here in this triangle this we have 45 degree. And this is 35, we can easily find out this angle. I call this angle as Y. Okay, so in triangle STQ, STQ, angle S plus angle T is X plus angle Q is Y equals to 180 degree. Angle S is 75. Angle X we have, this is 45 degree. Okay, then plus angle Y equals to 180 degree. Okay. 75 plus 45 this is equals to 120 plus y equals to 180 degree so y equals to 180 minus 120 degree this is equals to 60 degree so y is nothing but here sqt sqt is equals to 60 degree okay this is the here fifth question is in the given figure, PQ is perpendicular to PS. Yes, here PQ, this PQ is perpendicular to PS. That is, they have given 90 degree here. And here PQ is parallel to SR. PQ is parallel to SR. SQR is 28 degree. Okay, they have given this angle 28 degree. QRT is 65 degree. QRT is 65 degree. Then find the values of X and Y. Okay, this we need to find out these two values. Okay, let us discuss this question. In fifth question, here, these two are perpendicular. Here, this is 90 degree. Okay, here we need to find out xy. Okay, so here in this case, see, these two are parallel here. PQ is parallel to SR. If these are parallel means the alternate angles are equal. That is here, this angle equals to this angle. So alternate angles that is PQR equals to QRT equals to 65 degree. Okay, these are alternate angles. Okay, so these two are equal means PQR we know PQR is X plus 28. So this is equals to 65 degree. Okay, you can write X equals to 65 degree plus becomes here minus 28. This is equal to 65 minus 28, 37 degree. Yes, we have the values of x now. Yes, we can easily find out y in this triangle. In triangle PQS, angle P plus angle Q is x plus angle S is y equals to 180 degree. Angle P is this is 90 degree. Angle X is we have value 37 degree plus we can easily find out Y equals to 180. Okay, so then Y is equals to 90 plus 37 is 127. So it becomes here minus 127 degree. Okay, so now Y equals to 120 minus 127 is 53 degree. This is the value of Y and this is the value of X. Here in 6 question, 
In the given figure, the side of QR of triangle PQR is produced to point S. Here, QR is produced to point S if the bisector of PQR. So, bisector of PQR that is QT. Okay, bisector means it divides the two angles in equal. And PRS, the bisector of PRS, PRS, okay, the bisector of PRS is RT. Here also, these two angles are divided in same ratio. Then prove that half of QTR equals to QPR. So we need to prove these all values. Okay, let us discuss in answer section. In this, we need to prove QTR equals to half of QPR. Okay, here they have given QT is bisector of PQR. Bisector means it divides the angle in equal, that is I call the XX. And RT is bisector of PRS. I call these angles as YY. Okay, so now here consider in this triangle QTR, this RTRS is exterior angle, outside angle. Okay, so in QTR, in triangle QTR, okay, which one? TRS is exterior angle. We know exterior angle theorem, the exterior angle is equals to TRS is equals to TRS is equals to interior opposite angles. So, for TRS, interior opposite angles are this sign, this. That is PQR plus and QTR. Okay. So, TRS, TRS is Y. PQR, PQR is X. Plus I write down QTR as it is. Okay. Because QTR is not known. Okay. So here I write down Y. I send here this is X. This is QTR. I call this as equation number 1. Okay. So same thing in this triangle. PQ, PQR, TRS is exterior angle. Okay. So in triangle PQR, TRS is exterior angle. So we know PR is by theorem, exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle is equals to sum of interior opposite angles. So now this is, you take these two angles. Okay. That is R Q P R plus P Q R. Okay. P R S. P R S is Y plus Y is 2Y. Q P R. Q P R. Write down as it is. P Q R. P Q R. X plus X is 2X. Okay. Here 2Y. I take this one here 2X equals to Q P R. Okay. Here I take 2 is common. Y minus X equals to Q P R. Okay. So see. 2 into y minus x, y minus x is equals to qtr. Okay, by, by using equation 1. By equation 1. Okay, here qtr, I wrote down here only. So, into 2 becomes here divided by 2, that is 1 by 2 times of qpr. Hence the proof.